Hello everyone, this is Murari Jha and today I will explain something related to chat GPT. So if you are not aware with the chat GPT, then uh, this is a, a product of OpenAI organization. So uh, that open or, uh, open AI organization is currently working on different uh, language model. So chat GPT is one of that. So currently uh, I will show you how using chat GPT we can implement uh, improvement our uh, development functionality so uh, we will have the extension of chat gpt so i will show you how we can uh, i mean download that extension and use in uh, with our visual studio id and it is basically used to customize our code or uh, uh, with that particular extension we can uh, make our development faster so for that uh, from the starting you will click on that extension this is our visual studio id okay so under the visual studio id we have the extension menu and when you will click on extension you will have the manage extension and uh, here you will search something called chat gpt chat gpt okay so here you will have something related to chat gpt but uh, what i am explaining today for that you will need to visual studio chat gpt uh, extension okay so this extension i already uh, i mean installed in our uh, visual studio so uh, it is not required to me but uh, uh, for you if you are doing the first time so it looks like this so here you will click on download uh, once you will click on download then you must have to close your visual studio uh, this id once you will close this visual uh, id visual studio id then it will install in your system once the installation will be done in uh, i mean uh, one or two minutes then again you will relaunch your visual studio id and start the further uh, uh, uses of chat gpt so i mean there is no any uh, internal code writing or integrations are required to connect with uh, this chat GPT. You will just need to uh, download and install uh, with your Visual Studio extension. So once you will open your Visual Studio extension, so for understanding the chat GPT is available or not, you can see here, you will go in the tools and inside the tools, you will go under the option here in the option when you will scroll down so here you can see you have a visual studio chat gpt extension okay now this is the gender tab and the, this is the command tab so inside the gender tab i think uh, there is something uh, issue uh, currently but inside the gender tab you will have, have an option like uh, you will have to add to api key chat gpt api key in in the general tab so currently i think uh, we need to restart our visual studio but inside the general tab you can easily uh, find the api key and uh, there you have to put the api key when i am talking about api key i will show you from where you will get that api key okay currently uh, first of all i need to show you how you can find the api key so you will search chat okay chat gpt open ai here this is So here you will write chat GPT login. Okay. Here you will click on this. Developers API references. where you will go and log in so 
you can go with your uh, login credential or you can go with uh, continue with Google and here okay now how you can find the api key so here you will click on this personal uh, button here you can see the view api key so you will click on view api key and i already have generated two api key so in your case it might be possible that it, it is a first api key or you can generate uh, the next one as well so for example if i would like to create some other api key then i will create click on this create new api key and uh, for your understanding i will click on this and uh, i will copy from here and this copied api key will be will be uh, saved in my tools under option under chat gpt extension okay so here you can now now you are able to see uh, here uh, i mean previously it was some issue but currently it is visible so now i will add that api key i mean i have not copied yet so i will copy it so it is copied now again for your understanding i will click on tools then options then i will search visual studio chat gpt studio visual chat gpt studio then i will click on general and here you can see i have a key called open ai api key so that api i have created i will paste here i'll click on ok so now our chat gpt is i mean configured with our visual studio so this is just like a extension there is no any coding required uh, for the internal integration we will just have to log in on our chat gpt web, web, website from there you can uh, how however i got the api key so you will follow that and uh, got the uh, your api key and just go inside the tools and uh, add uh, that particular api key that it's so now uh, you are uh, you are able to use that extension in your visual studio so first time you can so when you will see when you will copy this particular method and you will click right okay okay so uh, after the right click after the right click here you can see the visual studio uh, visual chat gpt studio okay so for example uh, if you want to add this this some particular method then you will click on that some uh, this and I'm, I'm not doing anything and this summary is going to be added here again you can see on that method i just need to add the comments only at this time uh, i'm select selecting the comments so here you can see our chat gpt extension is writing whatever code i have to write okay so uh, in any circumstances or any case if you have missed to write the summary or uh, these type of comments then after that uh, you can just go and use using that particular chat gpt extension you can write this type of things uh, in in our uh, uh, current development process the unit test writing must be there because uh, multiple clients uh, ask uh, are supposed to get and uh, give the code health and good health and uh, code coverage uh, 
uh, so that uh, you can write the unit test as well you you just need to select this particular method and uh, you will click on a uh, right click here you will go in your visual studio and now uh, you will have the option to choose the add test so for example if you will choose the add test now you are able to see our test case writing is going on okay i'm not doing anything related to code so the everything is uh, done by the chat gpt extension just we have to add some external nuget package uh, for overcome this error okay so currently i will check so currently i'm adding the by default extension of i mean nuget package of visual studio for the test method okay so now uh this summary activity is done and uh, the comment is done so i'm able to create uh, the unit test using chat gpt extension i mean this is just a demo this is just a very uh, simple method but uh, if you will do the same activity for your uh, i mean a very complex method is uh, i mean uh, this this can be possible at there as well so there's no any issue so now we will check some other things like uh, for example in this method i will i will not return anything okay so so in this case it is showing an error okay so because this is a compile time error so easily we can identify that uh, this is a compile time error but uh, using the chat gpt extensions we can also find what is the error actual i mean what is the uh, actual error it is so when you will click on find bugs so here you will get a comment that this code is missing an else statement to return a value if the age is not greater than two so i mean this statement or syntax sentence can be can help you to overcome that particular issues instead of searching uh, here and there okay so now Okay, I will just get rid of this thing. Okay, so I mean, we have seen add test, find bugs, optimize. Okay, so for example, though, what how we can do the optimization? So, for example, when you will select that particular method and you will go and click on optimize so so here you can see this multiple line of code is being written in a particular line in a single line so this is the benefit of that uh, code optimization using chat gpt extension now we have something called explanations okay so explanation is something like uh, comments and summary so for example what is the purpose of this method i mean if as a user as a developer if you will explain uh, what is the exact purpose of this uh, method is so the same activity is doing by uh, chat gpt extension so when i will click on that explain so here you can see a statement uh, which is uh, provided by chat gpt extension is this is a method that takes an integer is as an argument and return a string the method checks if the age is age is greater than two and if it is return the string okay so i mean the whole purpose of this method is this so this is called the explanation so we we have seen using with the help of chat gpt extension we can create the summary this is a part of based coding practices we can also find uh, explain any particular method i mean uh, on behalf of uh, input and output uh, the chat gpt extension will explain the method uh, as better as uh, our developers and uh, uh, we already have created the unit test method as well we already have uh, added the summary as well so i mean these type of uh, base practices we can 
do with uh, chat gpt extension in the visual studio so uh, as i have read about a chat gpt extension this can be possible in another id either it is a react or it is a visual studio code uh, i mean in, with in id it is uh, possible to utilize okay so i mean uh, for improve the productivity and uh, the code quality we must have to go with the chat gpt extension and uh, the basic uh, advantage of this is uh, there is no more complex integration is there so i mean uh, we just have to add that extension and just uh, download and installations and uh, after that uh, create a api key from the chat gpt website and uh, that api key will be uh, added in the tools under chat gpt extension general tab and then uh, that uh, uh, everything is done so now we just have to use with our code so that it's related to chat gpt extension thanks if this video is informative then please free feel to subscribe our channel and hit the like button and share with your tech community to use these type of things and uh, the this is basically uh, based on chat gpt 3 model currently in the market i mean recently uh, open ai has introduced chat gpt4 as well so i mean obviously we will have some more uh, useful functionality will be there so uh, if i will find something helpful in chat gpt4 model then we'll uh, again create a video for that so thank you thanks again